Jesus' name. Psalm 97, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He preserveth the souls of his saints. Will he preserve you? Yes. He will. Because it says, He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. He is mightier than the wicked. He is more powerful than the wicked. He will deliver you in Jesus' name. Job chapter 5. Job chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 8. Job chapter 5. Reading from verse 8. I would seek unto God, and unto God would I commit my cause. That ought to be your decision. Because you know, He delivers, He rescues, He heals. He supports, he provides, he takes care of his own. Because of that, you ought to say, I would seek unto God. Unto God would I commit my cause, which doeth great things and unsearchable, marvelous things, tell me the rest, without number, uncountable, innumerable. He does miracles uncountable. He does uh, wonder signs and wonders innumerable. From this year, you will know it in your life. Who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth water upon the field. In verse 11, to set up on high those that are low. If you are low today, he will raise you up. He will set you on high because you are low. That, that those that mourn may be exalted to safety. Your tears he will wipe away. In verse 12, it says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. You see, all those princes and all those presidents, they were, they were saying, uh-huh, we got him. The king, Darius, he wanted to promote him above us and beyond us. He wanted to make him number one. And you know, we're very clever. Why, if not for our cleverness, we will not have been able to get rid of him. That man, you know, his character was all right. Everything was all right. And the king was trying, instead of the king considering us, he wanted to put Daniel on top of everybody. But now we shut him up in the lion's den. Are you powerful enough to shut up a saint of God in the lion's den? Wait until tomorrow morning. I said wait until tomorrow morning. You know, the morning came and then Darius ran there. I said, Daniel, are you still there? Oh yes, he said, I'm here, O king. Because the Lord has sent his angel. And then all the craftiness and all the devices of all those people, the Lord turned everything around. And then, you know, the king now said, All right, Daniel, come out. And when Daniel came out, he said, Why don't you go there to, to see whether you are better than Daniel or not? And then he packed all of them and put them in that place. He never came back. I said he never came back. Because the pit that they tried to dig for the man of God, for you, a child of God, well, I want them to repent. I pray that they will not perish. But if, they don't, if your enemies don't repent, well, they will tell the story in eternity. But thank God we are children of God. The protection of God will be upon you in Jesus' name. I've marked this one in my Bible, this verse 12, mark it in your Bible. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. All the devices and the plots and the plans of your enemies, the Lord will disappoint them in Jesus' name. They want to hear bad news concerning you. They will wait and wait. They'll never hear bad news concerning you in Jesus' name. They want to hear the friends of Daniel and the relatives for them mourning and going about and fasting. They cannot eat because Daniel, our friend, is eaten up by the lions. Daniel, our relative, has been destroyed by us. They will never hear bad news in Jesus' name. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot, their hands cannot perform their enterprise. It will not happen. I said it will not happen. You will be safe and secured and protected and preserved in Jesus' name. Job chapter 9. Job chapter 9. I'm looking at verse 4. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. That's your God. That's your Redeemer. That's your Savior. That's your Father in heaven. He is wise in heart and is mighty in strength. Who has hardened himself against him and has prospered. No one. Never. Let's look at it from verse 10. Which doeth 
great things past finding out ye wonders tell me the rest why don't you just accept it this year that god is going to do signs innumerable uncountable in your life and in your family because you trust in the lord it will happen in jesus name which doeth great things not small things this year you are not for small miracle small things great great things are going to happen which do it great things past finding out and yea wonders without number lo he goeth by me and i see him not he passeth also and but i perceive him not behold he taketh away and who can hinder him who will say unto him what doest thou our god is wonderful our god is mighty and this year will be a year of that same signs and wonders in jesus name we're looking at Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 8, Isaiah chapter 8. Now Daniel is gone, but we are still here. Darius is gone, but the kings of the world are still here. Those princes and, and, uh, and presidents and prosecutors, they're still around, but the Lord is looking over you. He's protecting you. And signs and wonders innumerable without number will happen in your life this year. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah chapter 8, we're looking at verse 18. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord hath given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Mount Zion. I believe that when, when Daniel came out of that place and he saw the sign and the wonder, everybody looking at him, he said, look at me very well, look at me very well. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me were for signs and were for wonders in Babylon. And in your community, you are for signs and for wonders. In your school, you are for signs and wonders. In your college, university, you are for signs and wonders. And in your state, in your region, anywhere you are, you are for signs and for wonders. And the next time when I see you and you see me, I'll tell you testimony, you'll tell me testimony. And the testimony of great, great things will never stop in your mouth in Jesus' name. Why don't you stand up and receive it from the Lord? God give it to Daniel, he'll give it to you. God give it to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he'll give it to you. Signs and wonders for the people of God this year. Open your mouth and tell, and tell the Lord. Thank the Lord for what we have learned today. And you see that the decree was reversed. Every negative thing that any Darius has written concerning you is going to reverse it himself. This year is going to be a year of blessing. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Great things without number. Good things without number. Signs and wonders without number. Innumerable. The things that God will do that will make the people of the world to reverse the negative things they said before and the negative things they planned before upon you. Because the Lord is going to reverse, He's going to destroy all the devices of the enemy concerning your life. Is the living God, He liveth forever and ever. Is the mighty God, Is the all, all, all powerful God, all sufficient God, a God without limitation, a God without weakness, a God without failure, a God of all power. He reigns in heaven, He reigns on earth, He reigns in your heart. Trust Him, believe in Him. Daniel believed in his God. That's why what those persecutors were intending to see. They couldn't see that. But tomorrow morning, we'll see that sign in your life. That wonder in your life. Darius were right about it. Kings were right about it. Men and women will write about it. The great wonders the Lord will do in your life, in your family. People will talk about it. And you will draw closer and nearer to God. You say, what a God is this, a mighty God is this, that has preserved my life and delivered me and rescued me. You will rejoice this year. Because our God is your God. The living God is your God. 
He is your father. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. You can rest in him. You can trust in him. Enemies will not be able to laugh at you. The persecutors will not be able to see your defeat. What they thought will be the end will not be the end. You still have a ministry. You still have a ministry. You still have a commission. And the Lord will preserve your life and protect your life. Good things will happen to you. And good things will happen through you. Hold on to the Lord. Be steadfast. Be stable. Don't forsake the living God for a dead God. Turn. And turn to the living God. Abide in the living God. Rest in Him. Rest in Him. He will do wonders in your life without number. Innumerable, uncountable. He'll fill your mouth with testimony. You will rejoice. Darius will rejoice with you. Your neighbors will rejoice with you. Friends will rejoice with you. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. There's no fear. No defeat. For the people that trust in the Lord. The Lord is on your side. He will deliver you from every evil. This year will be different for you. The Lord has started already. You know, he has started already. It's well with you. It's well with your soul. He's a living God. You'll find him alive in every situation of your life throughout this year. He's a God of majesty and authority. You'll find that majesty, authority in your life throughout this year. Say, God of mighty acts, mighty acts, miraculous acts, marvelous acts. You'll find that in your life throughout this year. Trust in the Lord. There's no disappointment for those who trust in the Lord. Turn to the Lord and make up your mind you will never forsake the Lord. Great, mighty, innumerable, uncountable will be the power, the miracles, the signs and the wonders of the Almighty God in your life all through this year. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, You know, this year we will laugh or not cry. All our enemies, they'll be disappointed in Jesus' name. The goodness of God, the glory of God will shine upon your life. And Darius, who have been sorrowful all the night, and he took all the music away from him. He said, my friend is gone. My friend is dead. My friend is torn away. He's torn by the lions. Then he woke up in the morning. And he's thinking that maybe you are gone, but you're still there. Yeah. He thought maybe your family is gone, but your family is still there. Yeah. Your business is torn apart. No, but you're still there. Yeah. Your business is still there. Yeah. This year is a year of establishment. And the Lord will establish everything concerning you in Jesus' name. 
It's all said, maybe your wife has sat miscarriage again. No, that's of the past. No miscarriage again. No evil again. And then he calls you by your name. He, he tries to knock at your door. Are you still? Oh, you say, come in. We're celebrating Jesus here. And we're celebrating the power of God here. Come in and sit down. And then you begin to tell testimonies upon testimonies. And your testimonies will never end in Jesus' name. This year, I will rejoice with you. Why don't you raise up your hand? We're going to pray. The Lord started from, you know, that uh, first of February, first of this month, and the 8th of this month, 15th of this month, and 22nd of this month. Now this is our last gathering together this month. We're going to seal all the blessing of God in your life. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for every brother here, every sister here. We thank you for every child, every boy and every girl. We thank you, Lord, for every member of this church. We pray, Lord, this year will be a year of establishment in Jesus' name. The goodness of God will reign in every life. The glory of God will reign in every life. Signs and wonders will follow everyone in Jesus' name. Lord, any lions then where your people are all those lions that want to tear the people of God apart will shut their mouths right now all the craftiness of the enemy that they want to destroy any child of God will take that child of God away from the mouth of the lion in Jesus name you will not die you will live your child will not die members of your family will not die your business will not die nothing that will touch will die in jesus name your enemies will be disappointed your persecutors will be disappointed all your tears are wiped away all your sorrow is taken away your sickness is taken away your affliction is taken away all the mountains are gone everything you open your mouth to tell the lord in this covenant month will seal it right now god of heaven god of power god of majesty and god of glory god of abraham isaac and jacob and god of the saints on earth and saints in heaven and the living god the mighty god the powerful god oh lord right now because of your name and we know that you will not allow your people to come to shame answer the prayers of your people in jesus name lord jesus you are savior 